Imagine an advancement operator polynomial of degree one. Okay, now again, as I said earlier, we're going to divide by C1. And so we're going to have just A plus some constant operating on the function Fn is zero. That's the equation. And I want to rewrite that so I can see the root. The root, when you have the polynomial a plus c1, the root is minus c1. So I want to see that as a minus a root times fn. And the theorem is that the solution space is a one-dimensional space, and the function r to the n is a basis. Okay, now, in, in vector spaces, you call these things lines. So you say there's a vector, and your solution space, or your, the vector space, your subspace you're talking about, is just a line. Okay, but now uh, our vectors are functions. So this line, this one-dimensional vector space, has a function as its basis. That basis is going to be r to the n. And then the elements of the solution space are just the linear combinations of that one vector. Now, a linear combination of one vector is just a multiple of it. OK, so I want to, we're going to actually prove this. All right. 